Here we have a particle photon with a breadboard and temperature uh, reader and up on the screen we've got some code here to uh, simply post the temperature reading uh, to a cloud variable and this is all done through a particle and if I click to the next tab you can see the JSON that is exposed here and uh, you can see this result of 74 so currently reading 74 now here inside of Splunk I'm doing some uh, searches here and essentially returning uh, the temperature now over here on this monitor you can see where we have taken the I uh, just created some panels for dashboards the, the high and the low the average and then we've got a little uh, line graph here showing temperature over time so what I'm going to try to do is beat that 83 degrees. So if I just put my fingers on this temperature reader here and really squeeze it down, try to get it warm, it should uh, bump the temperature up here, hopefully higher than 83. And we should be able to see uh, that temperature register here. So I'm just kind of squeezing it. And then we're going to go up to the JSON and return that so that got it up to 81 so i will keep holding it here might have to pause the video just for a second but we're gonna get it over 83. all right so now you can see we have got it up to 85 and uh if we look in the splunk refresh that well, it's just a tab behind you can see it on the 83 so that event will work its way into Splunk here shortly but you can already see in the charts here uh, that the temperature has been steady uh, going up here so now you can see where it did register the uh, actually went up to 86 so we'll just reload this and you can see where the high of 87 has now registered so pretty uh, basic and simple um, way to to use a splunk uh, but you know very powerful in that you know we can easily create these dashboards uh, even set alerts so you know very powerful um, solution you know if we wanted to monitor the temperature of freezers and then alert us whenever they uh, got below a certain temperature or above a certain temperature uh, that could be very beneficial so this is just a very simple illustration of how we're using particle and splunk here to uh, mine some data and create some cool visualizations